big explosions? Do you like icky slime smoothies? And do you like super silly dentists? Well, then you're gonna love this video of Ellie's top five super silly science moments. <laughs> First, we're going to the pool for a sink or float experiment. The best part, we get to throw things in the pool. <laughs> Check this out. Now we have wood and metal. Now, what do you wanna use first? I think let's try this stick first. Do you think this stick will float or sink? Well, let's find out. <laughs> Three, two, one. It floated! It floats! It floats! But what happens if we use this huge log? Ugh. Wow, I really feel like this might sink. Yeah, that will definitely sink, definitely. Uh, not too close to me, thank you very much. <laughs> Three, two, one. What? It floated. The log floated too. So, apparently, all wood floats, no matter if it's a stick or a huge log. Yep. No matter if it's heavy or small, all wood floats. That's right. Mm. All right, let's try this metal. All right, Ooh. let's do this big one first. Yep, you do the honors, Coach Rocco. Metal. It sinks. Oh. The metal tool sunk all the way to the bottom. Well, I figured as much. It looks really, really heavy. What about those paper clips? Well, these are definitely going to float. Yeah, they seem really, really light. Go! Oh. Oh. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Jimmy, did you see that? All those paper clips sunk to the bottom, just like the big heavy metal tool. Huh. So... That means all metal sinks to the bottom. <gasps> Ellie, you have passed this lesson with flying colors. <laughs> you get an A+. Plus. <laughs> cool. Hey, don't I get an A+, plus too, for floating? See, look, I can do it again. Cut <laughs> <laughs> that out, Jimmy. It's time for our next lesson. Now, come on out of the pool. Grab this stick. Come on, Coach Rocco. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Coach Rocco sings! Coach Rocco sings! Rocco definitely sings! <laughs> now how are you floating, Jimmy? Teach me! Okay, boys and girls. So Jimmy started off pretty good. I like spinach, especially in healthy green smoothies. But then it kind of goes all downhill from there. <laughs> Get ready for the yuckiest smoothie ever. Hmm. What can Chef Jimmy make Ellie? Well, I always see her drinking those green smoothies. And there's a blender right here. Maybe I'll make her my own green smoothie. Hmm, what ingredient should we use first? It's gotta be something green and healthy. Let's see what they got in here. Spinach, perfect. Delicious, nutritious, and most importantly, green. Thumbs up. No, I think we need something greener. How about a little seaweed? Fresh from the ocean. Yum, yum, it's starting to smell good already. Hmm, but we should add some fruit. I don't know if we have any though. I got it, fruity gummy worms. It's Seriously? And these are some of my favorite candies. And hmm, let's get a little more liquid in there. I got it, some pickle juice. Uh, no way. Of course. Awesome, and as a special finishing touch to get those big camper muscles, an egg. This is gonna be so good. Gross! Let's blend it up. Yum! All done, and it smells delicious. Let's pour it out. Mmm. Ah, perfect. Oh, Ellie, I finished your smoothie. Oh, wow, Jimmy, thanks. Wow, how did you know I love a green smoothie? It gives me all the energy I need for camp activities. Yep, and this has fruit in it and veggies and even a few special Chef Jimmy secret ingredients. Ooh. 
Jimmy! Oh, Jimmy, what did you put in here? It kind of smells like a camp garbage can. Thank you so much, but I think I'll pass. Look at it, it's super green just how you like it. Oh, is that one of those healthy smoothies you're always drinking, Ellie? Here you go, Coach Rocco. Try it. It's delicious and nutritious. Mm. Coach, I wouldn't drink that if I were... Mm. Oh, no! Oh. Interesting. <laughs> and tangy. <laughs> and a bit uh, chewy. <laughs> You're right, Jimmy. I, I feel an energy boost coming on. <laughs> Coach, are you okay? I'm just going to go with that. Vacuum the lawn. <laughs> Okay, bye, Coach. Glad you liked it. Now it's time to get super messy with a Mentos and Coke experiment. Hmm, Coach Rocco, Jimmy, I guess I'll just go. Three, two, one. Coach Rocco, I thought we were doing the Mentos candy and soda experiment. Look at all that foam that shit up. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Those Mentos aren't for the experiment. They're just my favorite candy to eat. I, the ingenious Coach Rocco, have discovered an ingredient that's way more powerful than Mentos. And here they are. Gummy worms. <laughs> are you sure, Coach Rocco? I don't know if that's going to work. These are my second favorite candy, and they will cause the greatest fizziest explosion you've ever seen. Super fizzy. So hold on. Put on your raincoat. This is going to get messy. <laughs> Soda bottle ready? One, two, three. Go! Run for your life, run! <laughs> huh? Did it, did it work, huh? Coach Rocco, it didn't do anything. It's fizzing a little bit, but not as much as the Mentos candy. Oh, maybe you're right. But I do know an ingredient that will work. Gummy spiders! <laughs> Coach Rocco, trust me. Mentos are definitely the way to go. These will make a huge explosion, just like a volcano. According to my calculations, no, we'll never have enough fizz. But hey, we can try it your way. I'll just have to keep a good eye on it. Okay, <sighs> good idea. Let's do three this time. All right, All right. are you watch. ready? Yes, let me watch this. Keep your eye close on the bottle. One, two, three, go. Huh? What? What a mess. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> You're about to meet the silliest dentist ever. You know, going to the dentist can actually be fun sometimes. Hi, boys and girls. I'm at the dentist for a checkup to make sure I don't have any cavities. How's it looking there, Coach Rocco? I mean, Dentist Rocco? Up, oh, it's looking good so far, but hopefully you didn't eat too much Halloween candy like Jimmy does every year. Mmm, yum. Well, let's keep looking. Pearly white. All right, I'm just gonna look over here. That's looking good. How about this one over here? That one looks good. Uh, yeah, that looks good too. Yes! Up. Uh, looking good, looking good. Congratulations, Ellie. You have no cavities. Looks like you've been brushing and flossing every day. Yep, twice a day. Once in the morning and once at night. Brush, brush, brush. Now it's your turn. Uh, well, Here's the thing, I already brushed my teeth this morning, so I don't need a checkup. Come on, let's go to class. Oh, 
Uh, don't be silly, Jimmy. Now, come on, this won't hurt a bit. You don't have to be scared. Scared? Me? This is Jimmy you're talking to, the bravest boy in class. Plus, I brought Mr. Fluffy for support. <laughs> Scared. I'll show you who's scared. All right, let's have a look. Oh, what is that tool you're using? On second thought, I'm out of here. Come on, Mr. Fluffy. Wait, Jimmy, I wasn't done. Back inside for another sink or float experiment. But this time it's not in the pool, it's in my goldfish bowl. But don't worry, Goldie is totally fine. He's just taking a break. <laughs> let's see if you get this experiment right. Now I have these rocks here, and I'm gonna drop them in and we'll see if they sink or float. Now they're kinda tiny, so I think they're gonna float. Oh, I don't know, Coach Rocco. I heard that all rocks sink, no matter how big or small they are. So I think that this rock will actually sink. Boys and girls, if you think that this rock will sink as well, give me a big thumbs up. Here goes. One, One two, two, three, float! Sink! Wow, all the way to the bottom. Sink! See, Coach Rocco, rocks do sink. Oh, that is very interesting. Yeah. Must be all this science stuff. <laughs> all right, now let's try something else. Let's try these feathers. Wow. <laughs> now, feathers usually float, but since this one's kind of big, I think it's gonna sink. No, I think that all feathers float because they're all very light. Let's find out. One, two, two three, three, sink! Float! Oh, it floated! <laughs> I was right! See, Coach Rocco, feathers do float. Hmm, so rocks sink, feathers float. This science stuff sure is confusing. You know what isn't confusing? Gym class. Silly Coach Rocco. Nothing confusing about running, jumping, and playing sports. Did somebody say gym class? That's a great idea. I'm totally ready for gym. Let's go. No, 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 no. We're still doing our sink versus float lesson. That's a good idea, Jimmy. First one of the pool gets an A+. Plus. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm okay.